Welcome back to another video for your soul evolution. Sorry you're having to look at this junky barn. It is what it is. I kind of feel like I have like a whole new attitude towards so many things. I think that the time I had away from making videos focusing on my kids and some things going on in my life um, have really had a positive, well, I know that they've had a positive impact because I just feel like re-motivated and replenished and just like this whole new attitude and things that I want to share with you that I have found to be so much simpler than even I have made in the past. I'm not above saying some of the stuff that I've made videos on in the past is kind of outdated that I have grown, I've evolved, I have found there are easier ways for things, that things can be a lot simpler and a lot of it has been overcomplicated and some of that stuff I even shared. But I want to come back on and tell you the simpler way to do things and I'm so excited to share that with you. What I want to share with you right now is something that you already know, but I just want to reaffirm that your dominant thoughts are creating your reality. Whatever are your dominant thoughts, that is what is showing up in your life, okay? So in order to change your reality, change your current situation, change your current relationships, you have to change those dominant thoughts. How do you change your dominant thoughts? By making new thoughts. How do you make new thoughts? You make yourself affirmations. Affirmations are your new thoughts. It's like you are having a brain transplant from what you have been thinking for so long that's not working for you, and you're, you've got a new brain, and you have all these new, positive, uplifting thoughts that make you feel good. So that is what you need to do to change your reality. If you're new to my channel and you don't believe what I'm saying and you have no idea what I'm talking about, look around at your life. What is going on in your life? What is going on in your relationships? What is going on with your health? What is going on with your weight? Whatever the situation, what are your dominant thoughts? You are creating all of that with those thoughts. Okay, find the evidence for yourself in your own life. Don't take my word for it. Look at your own life as an example of things that you've worried about that you created, things that you were excited about that you created. Just spend some time reviewing that, okay? And you will see that it's absolutely true. What are your self-concepts? What are the things that you tell yourself about who you are? You know, what is that story that you tell yourself about the person that you are? If you say, oh, I'm not somebody that's good at manifesting. You know, I suck at manifesting. I'm a horrible manifester. Then that's exactly what you're gonna have. If you say, I am an awesome manifester, I always get what I want, quick, easy, then that's also going to be what you experience, okay? It's all up to you. So I'm about to create some other videos here quickly to tell you how to give yourself that brain transplant that I'm talking about to create yourself the new thoughts that you need to have exactly the life that you want to have be the person that you want to be and have everything that you want. And yes, there's nothing wrong with having wants and desires. There's nothing wrong with that. And you can have them. And just because you want them super, super, super bad doesn't mean that you are going to repel them as maybe I said in the past, okay? That is also a reality transurfing term, okay? That when you want something so bad, you create a resistance around it, okay? And that may be true to some extent, but only if you believe it to be true because all truths are true, okay? I don't wanna to get too confusing right now, okay? But I've got another video coming to tell you what to do to retrain your brain, okay? 